Floodwaters from Hurricane Matthew are moving downstream in the U.S. state of North Carolina, drowning towns and farms. And it's not just the water levels that are dangerous, but also what they're carrying, toxins and bacteria from animal waste. Rob Reynolds reports from Kinston in North Carolina. Seen from above the flooded farm fields of North Carolina. They are dotted with hundreds of industrial scale pig and poultry raising operations, identifiable by rows of long white metal sheds. These factory farms produce millions of hogs, and the hogs produce 37 billion liters of fecal matter every year. The waste is stored in giant open cesspools. Now, floodwaters have breached many of those waste lagoons, sending a tide of filth downstream. Environmentalists say the farms should never have been built in potential flood zones. Hurricane Matthew was a natural disaster, but what we're seeing now is a man-made catastrophe, the result of highly industrialized, factory-scale farming and livestock production. We've been advising people not to expose themselves to the waters because of all the bacteria that propagates in these hog lagoons that's now in our waterways. And not to mention all the stormwater runoff, the uh, heavy metals. We've seen, um, we've seen gas stations and fuel storage facilities underwater. You know, right now we've got a toxic soup that is flowing through our waterways. Besides posing a danger to humans, the polluted water will likely kill aquatic life, endanger fisheries, and create dead zones in North Carolina's shallow bays and estuaries. Governor Pat McCrory says the floods have killed more than two dozen people in the state and made thousands homeless. It's the poorest of the poor, many people who cannot afford uh, this type of disaster to hit their family. It's hit. Kinston, population 22,000, is underwater. The only traffic on its main street is National Guard trucks bringing relief and rescuing stranded residents. In most of Kinston's submerged neighborhoods, residents had little time to flee. The night I come out, the rescue squad got me. I grabbed a suitcase, threw some clothes in it, and that's it. He's not sure whether he'll go back. I might have to go find me some higher land and move because I'm not going to go through this again. Misery that continues long after the storm has passed. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Kinston, North Carolina.